Hello everyone. Hope you're having an amazing November, ready to go to December, and we're gonna make December to remember, right? So in this video, what I'm gonna be showing you is uh, how to do something that could potentially help your business or website uh, have a little bit of a better user experience. Uh, and this tool, it can be used for any you know industry. So let's get into it. But also before we start, I just want to let everybody know that for videos that you guys have requested, I'm still working on some of them. And my team and I are like working very hard, you know, to try to um, come up with these videos. So as soon as they're ready, I'm going to be uploading them. And for the ones that are not going to be possible, I will let you know. But at least you guys have an extra tool uh, for your clients, for your own business, or any projects that you're working on. So this is what it's going to be. It's super simple. This video is going to be very short. But it's pretty much how to, you know, create a button slider uh, for your website, right? So, for example, you want to display multiple things. You want to create something it's, I wouldn't call it tags because we're going to be using actual buttons and the code into it is super, super simple. Like you don't even have to do much. So pretty much you can display multiple items. And again, this is very useful. So you can show other items. Let me see if I have another option here. I think I have another one up here. Uh, Okay, it's right here. Okay, so this is the one that we're going to be creating today. And again, it is the same concept. You can click to any of the buttons and go to the specific slider to display the specific information that you need. So let's start from the beginning. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, like always, I'm going to create a new page. But again, if you already have a website, you just need to add this section. What I would do is the same thing. I will just create a page. Um, once I create the page, I can create the, the thing that I need, and then I can always replicate it where I need it, so that way I don't mess up my website if this is your first time creating it. But again, it's super simple, so you shouldn't have any, any uh, problems. So... Again, we have a blank page, and the first thing I usually like to do is to add a strip, uh, because that way when I also fix the mobile version, it makes it much easier for me. And if this is your website, uh, you could already have, let's say, a banner at the top. So let's say, let's do this one at the top, right? And then you have your banner here. So let's say you're gonna add it right here. And that way, again, you have your own strip, so you don't put it directly onto the website page. Uh, so when you go on mobile, it's much easier to adjust. Second thing you're going to do is add a button. So you're going to have whatever button design that you have already, or you can create one. Uh, in this case, we're going to use this one. We're just going to change it a little bit. I'm going to attach it to the strip. And then from here, I'm going to go to Custom Design. I'm going to change the background. I'm going to make it white. The text, I'm going to make it, uh, let's say, we can do orange. And then the boards, I'm going to make them also orange. And I'm going to make this a number two. I'm going to turn this into 20. That way, it looks kind of like that. But again, you can create whatever design you like. Once I have my main button, what I will do next is I'll just copy paste. So I can just duplicate a copy paste. And then we're going to do five sliders. So let's do three. And you can do as many as you want. Or if you want to do only two or three, it's up to you. But for the example, we're just going to use five. Oh. I duplicate the whole thing. There you go. And right there. So now I'm going to center this. And so I have my buttons. And then here, the second thing, just so we know what 
what they are, I'm just going to name, name, name them sliders or slide one, slide two. But you can name it anything. Then three. Then slide four. And five. Okay, then we're going to be adding our actual slider. So we're going to go here. And let's find a slider. So we're going to go to interactive. And let's say we're going to be using this one. Uh, okay, let's drag this one right here. And now we're almost there. So one of the things I like to usually do is I work on first my main slider. And then from there, I create multiple ones. And then I'll duplicate them. Or you can work however is easy for you. But I'll do manage slides. And as you can see, we have three, but we have five buttons. So we're going to dupl duplicate this one. We're going to do, we're going to rename it slide four. Now, the names here don't matter. Uh, so just keep that in mind. The only reason I'm changing the names right now is so it's organized and anybody that, you know, comes and customizes the page knows what it's going on. So this one is going to be slide five, sorry, four. And then let's change the color so we can see the difference. And then we're going to go back to manage slides and then the number five. And change it to arts. And then the background, we're also going to change it to different colors so that way we can see exactly uh, what's going on. Oh, very, like, very weird color. Uh, okay, let's do that color for now. Then you can always change this image if you want. So you can, the best part of a sliders is that you can actually add um, different uh, items. You can add buttons, you can add a lot of things. Second thing is I don't like these big buttons because we want to use these ones. We don't want them to be able to use the buttons that the slider have. So you're going to click on the slider, right? And then you're going to go to settings. And then on settings, we're going to turn off this out of place on loading. And then we're going to, you know, close this. Going to go on, I think that's the layout. Okay, the layout. That's what we need. And then here, we're also going to turn this off so those disappear. And as you can see, it looks just like a small box. So we're almost there. Uh, pretty much we have all we need. And let's extend this a little bit so it's simple to add. Now, once we're here, then is to turn on the developer mode. So you're going to go here at the top. And you're going to turn on the developer mode. Now, if it's already on on your page don't worry uh, just we need this setting at the bottom so usually when you turn it on the first time it should look something like this but uh, if it's not the first time then most likely it's just gonna be like this and if there's something already here don't worry we can delete it if you have some code already on your website then you have to add it at the bottom but again this is Assuming that there's no code on this specific page. Uh, okay, now everything is going to be very, very simple. So the first thing we're going to do is click on our first button. And as you can see, it has a name called button 2. This is button 3, 4, 5, and 6. And the reason is because there's already another button here, which is button number 1. Now, the... Numbers don't matter, so it doesn't matter if it's button 9, 10, 11, because you could have already other ones already on your page. So don't worry about that part. The main thing and the thing that's going to make the whole thing work is this. So we're going to add what's called a handle. So you're going to click on the button. Then um, usually it should look something like this. It, should, it shouldn't have anything on here. The reason why you saw that there is because I added it before. But let's say this is the first time you're going to be adding it onto a button. It should look like this. There's nothing. When you click on that specific button, you're going to see there's nothing here. 
okay? So let's start with this one. Then we're gonna do on click, we're gonna add the handle, and we're gonna click add event. So as you can see, it added this uh, function right here. Now, this thing that is on great, you can just delete it, we don't need it. It's pretty much telling exactly what's going on inside uh, this function right here. So now we're gonna add what makes this whole thing works. So the first thing we're gonna go is delete this other section right here. And we're gonna start with um, money, W. And then we're gonna go with parentheses. And we're gonna do um, hashtag. Then we're gonna do um, slide show. And then the name of this slide show, it's this one right here, is uh, slide show one. If you can see it right here, right at the top, when you hover your mouse over the box, you can see it says slideshow one. So it's gonna be slideshow one. And then from here, just gonna do a dot, change, uh, slide, and then this is gonna be parentheses again. And the first one, even though this is the one, we're gonna start with zero. So this is gonna go zero, one, two, three, and four. If you start with one, then you're gonna start having errors. So you have to start with zero as if it was one. So now that we have done this, let's test it out. Uh, so we're gonna go to preview, right? And when we click on this one, it's not gonna do anything because this is the first uh, slide, but let's add a second one so you guys can see how it's gonna work. Now, it's giving me an error right here, so let me see why. Okay, so the reason why it's giving me an error is because I have it on um, capital case. So it's gonna be lowercase w. There you go. Now we're gonna go to the next button. So we're just gonna go enter, and we're gonna click to the next button, and then we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna add a handle on click. Make sure add event once you do that. Again, you can keep this or you can delete it. In this case, I'm just gonna delete it to have you know, more room. And then everything in here, we're gonna delete. We're gonna do again, symbol of money, lowercase w. And then we're gonna do slide show one. And again, if you have multiple sliders on your page, yours might be slideshow three or four. So just make sure you hover over the slide uh, box and then make sure to know what the ID for this one is. So if I click on it, you can see it's right here. But without clicking, just hovering over, you can see the ID at the top. So let's continue here. That change capital S, slide, and then this one is gonna be one. Uh, missing an E right here, okay. And then now we can actually test it to go one and two. So let's see right here. So if I go to two, it changes it to that one, and then I can go back to one. So very cool. So we're going to go back here. We're going to go to the button number three. We're going to also do a click, add event, delete this because we don't need it. And then at this point, if it makes it easier for you so you don't have to retype everything, you can just click on this thing right here, copy just this little section, and then the, delete all this. And then just paste that right there and then just change this. So that's two. Because remember, this is going to be zero, one, two. We're going to add this one now. And we're going to do on click, add, and then the same thing. So we're going to do this one one more time. And then this one is going to be three. And then we're gonna do the last one, which is gonna be this one right here. And then we're gonna do uh, 
on click add event and then we're going to copy this one more time and this is going to be four okay so now before we go in preview let me show you what it looks like so the first one even though this one is one on the page or it doesn't matter again the name of the id but uh, we have five buttons so we consider this one two three four and five but on the actual code right here you gotta start with zero because if you start with the one and you don't have the zero it's only going to work for two buttons and for some reason it's going to give you an error for all of them so it's zero one two three and four so the last one is four so now we can preview and see how it works so if i go to slide four it shows me slide four and then that's uh, slide five this is three two and one so as you can see it's very simple uh, this time I'm not going to be sharing the code just because, again, it's super simple to do. It's literally adding a handle. And then uh, I'm going to make this a little bigger so you guys can see it. So right there. But as you can see, it's very, very easy. Once you add the uh, function right here, it's going to make it very, very easy to do. So one second. <clears throat> so right there and then again the most important part here is this right here because a lot of the times people are like oh it's not working or something it's it's uh, just not responding or I tested it and just not doing anything make sure that when you click on your button right you see this option right here this handle it's on green and it's right there on click because if this is not there doesn't matter if you add it here it's not going to work and everything should be on uh it shouldn't have any red on it if there's a, a red it's because there's something wrong so for example earlier i made this like a capital and it gave me an error so make sure everything is you know exactly as it's right here and the second thing is make sure that you got the right ID for the slider, which this is slideshow one, and that's it. All right, so hopefully this video, uh, you know, is useful for your business or your clients, and see you on the next one. Thank you for the support, and uh, make sure to follow and like this video. Thank you.